the giant TCR. So good, we included it twice. If you watched our Bike of the Year big reveal video, then you'll know that the TCR Advanced Pro 1 disc is Road CC's overall Bike of the Year for 2020 and 2021. And the top of the range TCR are at £9,500, the Advanced SL0, it was a runner up in the super bikes category too. We're going to delve into these bikes and look at the similarities and differences between them, as well as what makes them so great to ride. Before we do, remember to subscribe and then hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time we upload a video to the channel. And how do Road CC's Bike of the Year awards work? Well, we only give awards to bikes that our tech team have independently reviewed. There's a link to our bike reviews in the description. These are bikes we spent some serious time with and put all the miles into so you can be safe in the knowledge that this is advice that you can really trust. Each year we sit around over Christmas and have a few sherries and work out which bike goes where in the final lists. Sadly, there's not been so many opportunities to get together this year for obvious reasons. And so getting together for these videos has been a little bit complicated too. So now I'm gonna hand over to Liam and Dave in the Road CC Club room to look at these two TCRs and what makes them so special. Well, thank you very much, Becca, and welcome to the Road CC Clubhouse. And it's very nice in here. I'm very comfy. In front of me, let's crack on. In front of me is the TCR Advanced SL0, £9,500. Yeah, that was second in our Superbike of the Year this year. It was indeed. Um, but in front of you, you've got the actual Bike of the Year. Yep, the Road CC Bike of the Year for 2020 21 is this the giant TCR Advanced Pro One Disc. Both of these bikes have done incredibly well, and we wanted to take a proper good look at some of the differences, but also what we liked about each bike. So without further ado, let's crack on. So Dave, you've ridden both of these bikes, very lucky. Uh, can you give us a summary of what these are like to ride? Yeah, I, I've spent some time on both of them. Most of that time on TCR Advanced Pro 1, but they're excellent bikes. They're really good fun to ride, and there's more that's similar about them than there is that is different. Um, in terms of the geometry, they share the same geometry, and for this large size, it's a stack to reach ratio of 1.45, which is not super aggressive for a race bike. It's kind of the way that the market's going really, isn't it? Because we saw in the past that race bikes were made for the pro racers, but now they're being made a little bit more attainable for the likes of you and me. We are the ones that buy these bikes after Yeah, it's, it's dialed back a little bit. And obviously you'll see the pros hacking it a bit, putting longer stems on lower stems to get a more aggressive position, but for the likes of you and me, we're not quite as flexible as those guys, or as fast. <laughs> this is a much better position, and it's fast enough in the drops to get low and aero, and it's comfortable enough on the tops that you can go for, you know, really good long rides, feel that comfort. And it's a comfortable bike to ride too, as um, they feel slightly different in the sense that at the back end, obviously, on your super bike, the TCR SL0, there's an integrated seat post. So that changes this junction here, it changes the feel of the bike at the back. Um, slightly more forgiving, slightly more comfortable over, over kind of the rougher terrain. But the main thing that is changing in terms of road bikes is how much tire clearance you can get. Yeah. And that's making more difference to the comfort on these bikes than probably anything else. Mm. I mean, these bikes will both take up to a 32 mil tire now. That's significant for comfort as well. And even if you don't use all of that space, you know, we've got wider rims on these as well. So your 25 mil race tire is gonna sit up a bit wider. You, you're just getting a bit more comfort all round, aren't you? Both of these bikes feel really efficient to ride. And you know, the, the pedaling efficiency and the stiffness in the frame is fantastic, second to none. I mean, there are some differences between the frames, the spec of the frames that we'll go into. Um, and there are some numbers associated with those differences, which mean that this frame is objectively stiffer 
than this one in terms I mean, of pedaling dynamics. In the real world though, both yourself and Matt Brett have ridden these and you both found it to be relatively marginal, the difference. Yeah, I, in, an, in the course of a normal ride, not something that you'd notice. I mean, this is kind of, a, in the mid range, we're talking about a class, class leading bike here and we're talking about class leading stiffness. This is a step up because it's a world tour bike and there are differences, but they're the kind of differences that a world tour pro would probably notice and you and me, not so much. So Dave did mention about some physical differences between the two frames. Uh, could you just go into some detail there? Yeah, well, we've already mentioned the difference in the seat post. So the SL0 has an integrated seat post. That's a big difference in the frame design. The other differences are more internal. So this frame is made from Torres T700 carbon and the SL0 frame is made from T800 and special giant carbon. Ah, okay. But it does make a difference. So the difference that it makes is that the frame is both lighter and it's stiffer. So Giant has a load of numbers that they've thrown at us in terms of the uh, difference between these two frames. And the pedaling stiffness, they say, is 88% of the SL0 on this bike. Uh, the torsional stiffness is 92% and the lateral stiffness 79%. So it's not as stiff yep. and it's a bit heavier. But obviously it's also a lot cheaper and quite a lot of the cost of the SL0, the extra cost, is in that frame. So one of the main differences that you'll find between bikes of these prices is at the group set. And I have got on this bike an all singing, all dancing, SRAM red ETAP axis group set. What it's got? Well, it's got hydraulic braking and wireless shifting. It is absolutely brilliant. Loads of people love it for the simplicity of operation, of installing it as well. Um, yeah you can't really get better than this. No, well, I haven't got anything quite that fancy here, obviously, but what I do have is um, Shimano's Altegra 8020 group set, so mechanical shifting and hydraulic braking. And, you know, for the private buyer, for the privateer racer, it's a brilliant group set. Functionally, it's excellent. It has a really good range of gears uh, with the 5236 at the front and the 11 to 30 at the back. And the hydraulic braking is as good as it gets. I have to say one thing that we've both got, which is surprising, is power meters. And I've got a dual sided power meter, which let's be honest, I'd expect to find at this price point. You've got a dual sided power meter as well. Yeah, so this bike comes with um, Giant's Power Pro power meter, which is based on an Altegra chain set, as you can see. And that is 800 pounds at retail. So you're getting a really good value package with this bike. I mean, that's a significant proportion of the bike's overall value as well. Yeah, and it's great for, you know, for training and racing and just generally being a data geek. Yeah, Strava, let's be honest. Yeah. So we've also got a difference in the wheel sets. What have you got over there? Well, we have got a difference in the wheel sets, but it's not a very big difference, I would say, not, in no. terms of performance. I mean. What you're getting here is you're getting Giant's SLR1 42mm carbon wheel set, and it is a really good wheel set. Sometimes on a bike like this, at this kind of price point, the wheels are a bit of a bit underwhelming. But that's not the case here. These are really light. They're 1450 grams. Um, they're really stiff. They're tubeless ready, and they're set up tubeless out of the box. Um, they have a 19.4 internal width, so they're good for 25mm tires, 28mm tires, kind of things you fit on a bike like this. And just generally, they're, they're really good. They feel really good. Over here, I've pretty much got exactly what Dave has got. Mine are a bit lighter, a bit stiffer, but in terms of tubeless, they're about 42 millimeters deep, hookless design. I've got slightly better tires on this one, but realistically, we both got tubeless setups and they both come out of the box tubeless as well, which is brilliant. Yeah, saves a lot of hassle. So much hassle. So we have had a good look at the intricacies of these two bikes, but there is one more thing to cover. That's why this bike has come second in our Superbike of the Year, and this bike has actually won our overall bike yeah, of the year. Bike of the Year for 2020, 21. So shall I take a look at mine first? Yeah. yeah? So for £9,500, you are expecting perfection. And thankfully, that is what you're getting. You want a light bike? Yes. You want a stiff bike? Yeah, it does that too. It climbs like a dream. It handles brilliantly. It's 
also comfortable, which you cannot say about all pro race bikes. The component spec here is amazing. There's nothing that you'd change. Generally, it's a good superbike. It's a superbike. It's a superbike. And what we have in the um, TCR Advanced Pro 1 is loads of that tech trickled down into a much more affordable platform with a brilliant group set and all of the finishing kit that you need to get it straight out of the box and ride. I mean, quite often with a bike at this price, you get it out and maybe the wheels aren't quite right, or the bars, or the tape, or the saddle. But here, it's a bike that you can take out of the box and there's nothing you change straight away. It's perfect. So that is why it's our bike of the year for this year. So that's our look at these two bikes, the TCR Advanced SL0, the TCR Advanced Pro 1. Both of them, brilliant bikes. Thanks for watching this video. If you've got any questions about these bikes, ask them below, we'll get them answered for you. And remember to like and subscribe if you wanna see more like this in the future.